Sure, my name is Abid Bawa. I'm a uh, resident of Rome, Georgia. Been here since 2003. I'm uh, 39 years old. I'm a father of, uh, of a seven, almost eight-year-old son, Cameron. Um, decided to run for Rome City Commission. Yes, sir. Um, why? Why? Well, let's see. We have a, a pretty lar large young population here in Rome, and I've been to several city commission meetings. And it just seems like uh, Rome needs more young representation. Um, you weren't born in America. No, I was actually born in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, up in Canada, just right above Montana and uh, North Dakota. What brought you to America? <laughs> As a kid, we used to go visit Florida all the time. And, uh, and uh, like, like most snowbirds, I wanted to make the South my permanent home. And uh, as a kid, I was determined that when I grow, when I when I finished high school, I will make the southeastern United States my permanent home. What was it about America that you fell in love with? Um, I believe it was it was really um, the friendliness of the people. Uh, whenever I we were down here, uh, people were just extra friendly, and I really felt the sense of community. Obviously, being from Canada, um, you you fall into the immigrant immigrant status. Um, got to vote. You recently got your citizenship. T tell me about tell me about what that meant to you to get your citizenship. Um, to uh, to take the oath of uh, citizenship um, in 2013, it was probably one of the best moments of my life, um, aside from his birth. So, um, but it felt great. I really felt like I was a true American, where I can actually participate in the political process. And. A lot of Americans take that for granted. You not only didn't take it for granted with voting, but you decided to actually run for office. Yeah, it was funny because uh, two years ago when I first uh, cast my first ballot for a local election, the ladies at the uh, polling booth remembered me from uh, from two years ago and uh, said, you you, you uh, voted here two years ago for the first time. I said, yes, ma'am. And today I'm a candidate. And they had no idea who I was or anything. What do you bring to the table that others don't? Um... Me being uh, 39, uh, I, bring, I bring youthfulness. Um, I bring, I'm also a, a full-time employee and a full-time father. Um, it, and I, I struggle, I, I, I work uh, full-time and that is the typical Roman for you, you know? Uh, work, works, works his butt off, you know, um, every day and uh, just you know survive struggles to put food on the table and this is uh, something that Rome needs uh, someone who can identify with the average Roman what are one or two issues that that, that are, are near and dear that you look to work for uh, one of the issues uh, one of the uh, my main concern for running was uh, is the job industry the the job prospects when I came to Rome back in 2001 to work and uh, subsequently to live uh, Mount Beer Square Mall was a full mall, which meant we had a market here that would, uh, uh, we had greater purchasing power here in Rome. Um, we had people who were gainfully employed, and I'm talking about, you know, with benefits, uh, who can, who can, uh, who can support a family. For example, uh, if I've had people, my customers, for example, I had, uh, my, my customers are primarily uh, ladies, and their husbands would be contractors, construction workers, uh, workers at uh, in manufacturing, who brought home the massive chunk of the income. The ladies would either have their uh, have disposable income um, from from their husbands, or they would have part time jobs, whereas where the income would be theirs. So they had extra income to spend on shirts, caps, and car tags. Uh, towards the last few years, uh, the ladies were the ones who were actually supporting the household because their husbands uh, unfortunately had uh, lost their jobs. And that's unacceptable. We have Chattanooga building. We have, I mean, Chattanooga's growing. We have Atlanta that continues to grow. Despite uh, the recession, they've actually come out uh, in, in full recovery. Unfortunately, Rome and Floyd County have been lagging. And I know we can do better to uh, to bring in new industry. And finally, um, you have that controversial sign, no BS. You, no you BS. talk about your funny name. Mm -hmm. Why should people vote for you and, and why was that your campaign slogan? I had to do something catchy. I'm, 
I'm not really well known besides uh, the mall. So to, to make an eye catcher, you know, I had, I'm the only one who actually has my slogan on my sign and that's what I'm about, no BS. Um, I will relay the message, everything that goes on, you know, Rome is gonna know about because as far as, you know, I don't have anything to, uh, you know, I'm not gonna sugarcoat anything uh, you know, if we have high employment, and we do have the, we do have higher unemployment here in Rome than not only the state, of, not only the nation, but also the state of Georgia. At last check, we had 6.6 percent .6 unemployment. Uh, Georgia was at 5.9, and the nation was at 5.1. So, you know, that's something that you don't normally hear uh, unless you you have to look deep in the news. But you know, I'll tell you, we are not in a good situation here in Rome uh, economically. What is about Rome that you love and you want to give back to? What I love about Rome, I love the people. The people here are wonderful. You know, uh, I never meet a stranger, it feels. Um, anywhere I, I, I go, there's always people willing to help. You know, uh, you can say hi to any random person at Rome and they'll say hello back to you. And that's something that, you know, I, I love dear to my heart. The, the scenery here is beautiful, especially around uh, Burwell Creek. That's an interesting, you brought up Burrow Creek. Yes. And are you, what, what's your thoughts on that? Well, you know, I am pro-development. However, Burwell Creek is, should be a, is a sacred place, you know. Um, it's, it's a natural wetland, and it shouldn't, it shouldn't be touched. Um, we have ample land, you know, we have ample land in Rome, um, just adjacent to Burwell Creek, which would be perfect for... Um, for an apart for a luxury apartment complex, a retail development. I think that Rome's Central Park needs to be just left alone.